Hey guys, it's Fobbleaky here again for another redstone tutorial. And today we're going to be covering the basics of minecarts, powered rails, and detector rails. So, I guess we'll get cracking on that. So, as we know, this right here is a minecart track. It's fairly useless right now. Um, because there's no power to it, and if we put a minecart on it, it's not going to it's not going to go anywhere. As we give it a push, but even then, it's not going to go very far. So that's where the power, the mighty power of redstone comes in handy. So if we create a powered rail on this side here... Um, we can power it by any of the the normal uh, redstone powering options, which are the redstone torch, which we've got here. Um, we can use a button. You can use a button uh, on tracks quite easily by creating a two block uh, high wall, putting the button on the top block and ac actually hitting the button like that, and it will power it on. Which is actually very handy because you don't need to use any redstone wire or anything like that. But for now we're just going to use a redstone torch, we're going to give the cart a bit of a push, and it will go around in the circle. So that, that's very useful right now, it's doing a lot of work, um, but what we can do as well is, what we will do actually, we'll, we'll go like this, we'll create a little ramp here with the powered rails on it, on either side like this. So what, what we have to know about redstone uh, powered rails is that if a minecart is stopped on a powered rail that is flat, no matter, if you power it again, it's not going gonna, gonna to make the cart move. Uh, I'll demonstrate what I'm saying because it's a bit, a bit dodgy. See, well, this demonstrates it right here. So the, you can, we can clearly see the minecart is on top of one of the powered rails, and even if we power it, the minecart's not going to move. So that's why I've, I've set it up on a little hill there. Um, but for now, I'll just give that a bit of a push. Oh, oopsie daisy. Okay. So now, what we, now what we're going to do is actually we're going to stop the minecart, and we see it stop up on that hill. So when it was flat, it didn't move when we powered it again. However, if we now power it, well, it gets stopped on the hill. We can see it uh, go the other way, just like that. It will start moving again. Just a handy little tip. Um, the same sort of thing also applies with. It, you can do it on a flat. You can actually power a minecart on the flat if you if you do it like this, which I often use when creating uh, redstone stations and all that kind of stuff. So if we put a minecart here on this unpowered track, um, because it's against the block for whatever reason, I don't know why this works, but if we power the redstone rail, well, the block uh, the minecart will actually start moving away from us. So. That's a nice little uh, bit of information to keep, and of course you can power that rail anyway, so if we, this time we power it with a resident torch from over here, we'll see the cart go away just like that. So, that's handy information for later on. However, normally if you stop it on a flat piece of track, it will not move either way. So this this is a fairly pointless piece of machinery right now, so we'll, we'll just change this back. That was just giving you a bit of a heads up on how you can start and stop minecarts. Uh, most people uh, start and stop them on a hill so the minecart keeps moving. But for now, we'll just go like this. And we're going to chuck in a detector rail now. We're going to get rid of that. Just get, sorry. Um, we'll chuck in a detector rail. We'll put it over here. And basically, what that does, it's, it's quite simple. It, it does the same function as a pressure plate. Uh, right now, it looks like it's doing a whole lot of nothing. That's because it is. It's not connected to anything, so it's completely useless. But as soon as we put a redstone wire here, we see the, we see the effect immediately. It, it toggles on and off um, for one second, pretty much. When the minecart goes over it, it'll toggle on for one second and then turn back off until another minecart comes around to it. So this is really helpful if um, maybe you need to do a track change for whatever reason up here. So track changes, that, that's a good, good point to go over there. Um, we can do that by simply powering the block. Um, we'll go around this way. We'll go like this. We just need to power the block where the, uh, the change is. And we'll see... Well, now we won't see it because the minecart has come off, but as soon as we put it back on here, you'll see as soon as it goes over the rail, it actually changes the direction it's going normally. That is a fairly pointless situation because every time it goes over the rail, it will just change the track, um, which is not very useful for most situations. Um, we'll, we'll just demonstrate it like this so we can see it going on and off constantly. So, oh, I should have given that a bit more of a push. There we are. So now we can see that the uh, the power is actually toggling this track over here, um, on and off. So the te detector rails basically tell you, you can use it to say when a cart is coming, or when a cart is leaving. You can also use them to actually temporarily power, uh, powered rails right in front of it. Uh, creative mode is annoying when you destroy blocks like that. So if we have the cart going in the right direction, as soon as it goes over that pressure plate, it will actually power the rails and let it go through. But this is good for a situation where maybe it's only a one-way track, and if, if the cart's going the wrong way, it's not it's not going to work because it's not going to power the uh, rails. 
So if we now make the cart go the other way, like this, it'll stop because it doesn't want to go that way. There's, there's no power. There's no powering power source there. But if it goes that way, it'll start powering the detector. Now, of course, there's a lot of stuff to cover with minecarts, and this is really, really basic stuff with minecarts. So there's a lot of depth to go in here. But I guess for now, I'm going to leave it here because this is the absolute basic. Um, I don't 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 know why that stopped. That was a bit weird. Um, this is absolute basics um, of powered rails, um, detectors, and all that sort of stuff. But in future, we'll go into more depth. So I guess until then, guys, I'm Flabbleeky, and uh, thank you for watching.